Okay, in this video, we're going to show how to turn an image that is fully colored into one that is black and white everywhere except for maybe one section. If you see the example right here, you can see everything is black and white except for the crown of flowers. By the way, each one of the files for this tutorial is going to be down at the link below. First thing I want to do is open up Photoshop right down here. I'm just going to click and I'm going to go to File Open. Now, I know that I've opened up this recently, but for you guys, it might be in your downloads folder. I'm just going to go to Open Recent. And it's called Nature, Person, Plant, so on and so forth. Now, if you look at it, everything on here is in color right now. What I want to do is just remove the color from everything, but have a little bit of control as to what I leave out. So in Photoshop, you have a few things that I want to point out first. You have your, lay, um, your tools, which is right here on the left. And you have your layers right over here. That's what we're going to focus on right now. But just to make sure that we're all looking at the same thing, go up to Window, Workspace. Even though Essentials is clicked on, I want to reset Essentials just to make sure. All right. And then I want to look at my toolbar in two columns. I click on those two arrows right there just to look at it in two columns. Okay. Now at the bottom of your Layers palette, you see a lot of lit different icons. One of them is this icon right here. I'm going to call it the half and half cookie for right now. So you click on it and you go to black and white. What that's going to do is going to create everything in black and white. But it does something else that you don't see until you look at the layers palette. This right here is the effect itself, which you could control different parts of it by making it more contrast by, you know, increasing the red or the yellow or the green, right? But right here is an even more important thing. This is called the mask. Now what the mask does, it shows everything that's white and it hides everything that's black. So right now it's showing everything because it's white. If I wanted to hide part of this effect, the black and white effect, I could brush in here with black. So I'm gonna click here, which is the mask. I'm gonna go to my tools. And it's one, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth tool on the left. Now you have a lot of different tools in there, but I just want the brush tool. And I want to make sure that black is my foreground color, which it is. Whatever I brush in here, it's going to hide the black and white effect from it. So as you can see, I could go around and really make this into my final image by just going around. Now, if you do mess up, for example, if you mess up by going over here, or if your brush is just too big, which it kind of is, there's a few things you could do about that. One, to make your brush bigger, if you look on your keyboard next to the letter P, there's two brackets. The bracket on the right will make your brush bigger. The bracket on the left will make your brush smaller. So that's going to help you. But if you do mess up anyway, let's say I messed this thing up right here, I could go still with the brush tool. I could go to white, right? This flips your color, your foreground color to your back. With white, I could brush in. And remember, white shows and black hides. So I could go in here and really fine tune it. Zoom in, back to black. And then at the end, you have a piece that has that same effect that we're looking for. Something that has color in only a certain spot and everywhere else it's black and white. All right, thanks for watching.